Hello, I'm Chris from Enduro Engineering, and this video is to instruct how to remove and reinstall rear wheel bearings on a KTM. Um, here we have a 2012 450 XCW. Um, we're going to install the new rear wheel bearings in here. Um, we're going to need a couple tools. Tools you'll need 27 millimeter socket or wrench to remove the rear axle, um, a flathead screwdriver to pop the seals out with, a punch to knock out the spacers and bearings in the hammer and some snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring that holds the drive side bearing in. Um, so to get started, we're gonna remove the axle nut here. All right, now that we have the wheel off the bike, um, set it up against something something sturdy. This bike's not going anywhere, so we'll just put it up against there like that um, on a bit of an angle. And now we'll take the punch and a hammer, and these these spacers here are press fit into the bearing, so they come out kind of hard. So you just reach across to hit that one out like that. Just put your put your punch in there on a bit of an angle to catch an edge of the spacer, and just tap them a little bit and the spacers will fall right out of there. Now is a good time to pull the seals out. And you get your flathead screwdriver in there in between the seal and the bearing. And just twist it a little bit. Pop the seal right out of there. Then now, depending on your year model, um, look on each side and there's a, there's a snap ring in here to secure the, the bearings in there. So we're going to reach in here. Alright, now that we got the snap ring out of there, you'll take your punch and there's a center sleeve that you can actually get offset in there so then you can start knocking the bearing out of there. So we'll just put the punch in there and actually drive it one direction like that. And that'll pop the sleeve in there and get right in there and see a close up of the sleeve how it's offset on the bearing. And then, uh, so now we can reach across and start tapping the bearing out the other side. You don't want to hit too much on one side of the bearing or the other because they'll get cockeyed in the hub and possibly ruin your hub. Bearing out, you got a big opening there. The sleeve came out with it. And just turn it over. And then you tap this bearing out of there. Okay, now that we have all the old bearings, uh, spacers and seals out. Um, we opened up our Enduro Engineering rear wheel bearing kit. It comes with two new spacers, two new bearings, and two new seals. You will reuse your center sleeve and the, the snap ring clip that holds the bearings in here. And to get started, putting the new ones in, we're going to take and clean up the area where the, the bearings sit in here on both sides. Just take some contact cleaner and wipe all the debris out of there. And now what you're going to want to do is take the wheel and set it flat on the ground. And you always start with the side that the snap ring is going to go in. So you get your bearing set in there, put the snap ring in, and then we'll turn it over and put the other side in. And be before you start putting the bearing in there, we'll put a light, light coat of grease around here and here to help, uh, help it slide in there. And we'll set the bearing on there. And the biggest, biggest thing to remember is when you put it in there, put it in there evenly. So we'll start tapping and move all the way around. 
so you're not hitting one side or the other and getting it cocked in there. All right, now that you got your, your bearing in there flush, you either want to get a, uh, a socket tube or a good idea is to actually use the, the old wheel space that you took out because it'll fit right on top of there. So and then we'll just tap this the rest of the way in here. All right, now once this is bottomed out, the bearing's bottom out under the hub, we'll get the snap ring and put that back in there. Um, biggest reason that snap ring's in there is when you turn it over and put the other bearing in, it doesn't drive this bearing out. It keeps it in there where it's supposed to be. All right, now that we got the your snap ring in there, um, we're going to install the new seal. Before you put the seal in, you're going to put some grease in here on top of the bearing. That helps keep some some water and, and debris and stuff like that out of the bearing. And then we'll take the seal and the seals can just be press fit in there. You just want it flush with the outside of the hub here. And now we'll take the new wheel spacer and which is a it's a press fit into the bearing so you get it started in here and then we'll just tap it and you got that in there now this whole side's installed and complete we'll turn it over And before we start putting this bearing in, we'll take the old sleeve and the sleeve's going to go down and the spacer we just put in there, the sleeve's actually going to ride over top of that. So we'll get this centered down in there. So that's centered down there like that. And before we put the bearing in there, we'll put some grease around here to help it slide in. All right, now we got the new bearings, seals, spacers put in here, and we'll reinstall the rear wheel. Before we put the axle in here, we go get cleaned up. It's always a good idea to put some fresh, fresh grease on your axle. Keep it from seizing up in there for the next time you need to take it out tire changes, stuff like that. Then we'll grab a torque wrench and torque this nut down to the proper specs. There we go. been a enduro engineering rear wheel bearing spacer installation video um, thanks for watching and go on to our youtube channel check out all the rest of our installation instructions or give us a call if you got any other questions thanks if you have questions regarding this or any product from enduro engineering please feel free to email us at sales at enduroeng.com or give us a call at 517-393-2421 and thank you for purchasing products from Enduro Engineering.